Hello, everyone. With all the immigration changes coming through, I can only speculate that this can be absolutely overwhelming. And I just wish to take a moment of your time to talk through some key facts you should be aware of in case they apply to you. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm June Ransom. I'm based in the Wellington region and operate throughout New Zealand with a global outreach. I'm a licensed immigration advisor, accredited and licensed by the New Zealand government, and I specialise in all types of New Zealand immigration, apart from refugee law. I'm updating New Zealand employers and migrants in New Zealand. Now, the latest changes that have come through over the past week, they've included, if you've got a temporary essential skills work visa for yourself and any accompanying family, which was automatically extended by the government for a further six months, you need to be aware that the minister has indicated that further extensions will not be given. Now, remember, you must always be covered by a valid visa, even though you may have a residence lodged. Look, please check the expiry date on your visas and ensure you have applied for a new visa. If you're holding a temporary work visa, which is due to expire within the next six months, do consider applying for a new work visa before the end of October 2021. Now, look, I'm making you aware of this as the changes that are coming are going to be impacting on the length of time your future visa is issued for. Now, employers are required to gain accreditation before they're able to support any new work visas for applicants. Now, this accreditation, don't confuse it with the existing employer accreditation. Employers may continue to use that for new applications up until 31 October, providing the salary offered is 79,560 or greater per annum. Now, from July 19th, the median hourly rate increases from $25.50 to $27. Now, if you're earning below this, you're only going to be receiving a work visa for 12 months at a time. Now, you'll also remember that you were going to get three one-yearly work visas followed by a stand-down period for 12 months and then you had to leave New Zealand. Now, this has been postponed until July 2022. Now, employers, from September 2021, you may commence applying for your new accreditation. And whilst we have not been specifically told what you're going to need to provide, we do know that you must have a clear government compliance file. So you've got no employment breaches and you've been paying the market rate. You're actually employing the person for the, the job that just on your job description. Now, the new accreditation, be proactive, plan and prepare if you're planning to employ new migrants. Have an audit of your HR practices. Do they meet the required standard? And without gaining that accreditation, you won't be able to employ migrants. We can help you. Now, working visa, working holiday visa holders expiring between 21 June and 31 December 21, you will automatically receive a six months extension. And the government's realizing that we need you as New Zealanders will not fill the gap you would leave if you let the country. Immigration New Zealand advised that they will contact you if you're eligible for the extension. Look, monitor this. So if you haven't heard from immigration a month before the expiry of your existing working holiday visa, follow up. Look, they made a right hash of things regarding a notification on the temporary essential skill work visas that will give an extensions at Christmas with terrible stress being played on, on the migrants as the IT system of immigration couldn't handle the notification. So please watch out for this. And if you need any help, con contact us. 
look, supplementary work visas expiring between 21 June and 31 December 2021 will automatically be extended for six months with open work rights allowing you to work for any sector. So those of you in New Zealand who have previously held temporary work visas, you can still apply for a supplementary seasonal work visa, but the new visa will be restricted to work in horticulture and the viticultural sectors. Now, with our borders still shut and with limited border, border pathways for entry, immigration are introducing a border exception and that's for 150 dairy herd managers, 50 dairy farm workers and 50 veterinaries. Now, investors, we do want you. And if you want to make a difference to your future and come to this beautiful country, do look at us. If you're a vester, there are good opportunities, along with gaining New Zealand residents to talk to us. Now, we at Woburn International, we're a great team of knowledgeable, skilled people with high values. We've been going for 30 years. So talk to us about what you would like to achieve with your immigration needs. We will assess your prospects at no charge. Well, I'm June Ranson. Our website is Woburn International or june.ranson at woburn.co.nz. So until next time, keep safe and healthy. And thank you so much for listening.